Welcome to part two of our White Rim Trail adventure and what an adventure this has been. It has been an amazing trail. The views, the challenges, it has been awesome. The problem right now is we're at the point of no return. There's no way we can turn around and go back. Uh, there's absolutely no way we have enough fuel. Now we're actually showing that we're below an eighth of a tank of gas. The Jeep is showing we only have 30 miles of range. We have 50 miles to go before we even get to the exit. And then it's another 20 miles to get to Moab. So 70 miles to go, the Jeep saying 30, it's not looking good for us. So let's get to part two of our White Rim Trail adventure and see how things end up. This is a really cool section. Kind of reminds me of Pickle, where you're driving through some of the rock formations. Whoa, it's definitely bumpier. But Pickle was a lot of fun. Oh yeah. And this is kind of reminiscent of parts of pickle and that's i'm not talking about pickle gulch I'm talking about pickle it's a trail here in the moab area uh, we did that last year with the great american crawl that was that was a seriously cool trail and now we are into some stuff unlike anything we have seen on the trail so far. And some very cool stuff it is. Going up clearance. Yeah. This is awesome. We have to make a left. Oh. <laughs> and no. Okay. Looks like a three point turn Hold on a second. with the trailer. Do you want me to look where is the trailer boat? I see it. There is no drop there. I got no I just have to bring it up over a rock. Here we go. And we're clear. No, we're not. We have another challenge. Okay. Manual. Okay, a little bit of a climb going on over here. So, dropped into four low, I'm in manual one. So we can just ease our way up this rock. Okay. 
not a problem so far. Tight little shelf road here. I mean, that was the first turn that we couldn't just make. Uh, you know, the fact that we had to actually do kind of a two and a half, almost three point turn there was kind of interesting. And we wouldn't have had to do that without the trailer. So really the first time the trailer has really had a negative impact on a piece of this trail for us. Other than some of the climbs that, you know, it took a little extra motivation to get up them. But it looks like we made it through that okay. And uh, we're only about two miles from our campsite. We've got another nice little climb here. This is the uh, something switchbacks, hogback switchbacks or something. Uh, definitely a fun technical challenge here. Kind of having to weave left and right to get the right lines because of the trailer. When can I turn? Sure. 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 You're good. Sure. I'm good. Okay. Well, that was a fun one. It wasn't fun. It wasn't fun? No, it wasn't fun. I thought it was Whoever fun. Whoever this road three, they are, uh, I don't know. They maybe walked it. Yeah, I think I may call the guys over at Trails Off Road when we get home and have some words with them about this trail. <laughs> because I, you know, the, the problem for us, this isn't a problem, but I mean, it is a tricky, tricky trail. And I could easily see somebody going to the website or the app and seeing that this is rated as an easy trail and having some real serious problems on it. And as I said before, it's it's not a problem with the, the trail guide. It's a problem because of how the weather and the rain and the monsoons have destroyed the trail this year. Sometimes it can make a trail much easier. Sometimes it can make a trail much harder. This year, it's making this trail significantly more challenging. Wow, what a climb that was. Uh huh, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Mm -hmm. Look at this view from up here. This is insane. Sunset over the, Sunset over the Green River. I mean, this is a combination of the Grand Canyon and 
like almost every trail we've ever done all wrapped up into one massive massive trail this has just been a top experience for us okay this is a pretty precarious situation here we're gonna try and avoid this run one rock and we are gonna get fairly tippy okay I'm starting to come down So that's 20 degree angle there. And we are out of it. One more section here that looks kind of tough. And uh, I think we're on the home stretch. It definitely doesn't look, um, I don't know, it looks different from up here than it does where she's standing. But now she's gonna have to give me some good directions here so that I don't drop into this rut and I have to miss a rock okay we're gonna start coming down okay and then we'll start coming back up again here I swear, without Katarina spotting, um, this would have been pretty tricky, but she is extremely good at picking lines for me. So, gotta give her big props for that. That's some really technical spotting right there. Well, that's it for our first day on White Rim. We made it pretty far. This is our campsite. We are at Hard Scrabble, pretty near the end of the loop we're gonna set up camp here have some dinner relax because it has been quite an adventure today this trail i mean it beats you up it spits you out and it is no joke at all this is some of the i mean we were way up there on that hill uh towing the trailer it, it yeah it's been a kind of a sketchy experience fun challenging exhilarating adrenaline rush but at the same time it was way harder than we were led to believe by looking at different trail guides and again not a knock on the trail guides this is due to the monsoons that have come through here and done a ton of damage to the trails a lot of washout and that has made things really sketchy right now so some other time of the year it's going to be easier but this time was it was pretty bad so uh, i think it's normally rated a three three uh not today no this was probably a six uh, maybe even a seven in some spots 
tricky trail. But time to go relax, have some dinner, get into bed and wake up and get our butts out of here in the morning. So that's when we'll see you next in the morning. All right, well, happy Labor Day. It is Monday and we are getting ready to start day two of our white rim adventure. The tribe trailer handled it like a champ. This was way more difficult than we had expected. It was just absolutely nuts. And taking a trailer on it is just over the edge. Now we have to get out of here and hopefully have enough gas to get to a gas station. I've already put the three gallons from the roto packs in. We're sitting on a quarter tank of gas. It's going to be tight getting out of here, but I'll, I'll get another shot of this close up. But if you see there where the white and the red on the bottom come together, that's the trail. That was what we were on coming to the campsite. And you can see there isn't much of it left with some of the washouts that are up there. So to say that some of this was a bit sketchy is a bit of an understatement, actually. Uh, so we're actually waiting for uh, some people in the other campground over there to get ready so we can all try and head out together because we know we have some difficult stuff in front of us and they have more gas. So that's always a plus. So uh, yeah, when we wrap this up, we're gonna have a lot of uh, interesting information about this trail. But right now, we just wanna wait to, uh, you know, we can't wait to get going because it was a lot of fun yesterday, but it was pretty difficult. So we're gonna get on the road and see what else White Rim has in store for us today. Okay, we are exiting hard scrabble and getting back on the trail. Now, this is this is where things may get interesting today because if you read the trail guides, it says the hardest stuff is up ahead. If that's the case, we're not going to have a good day. So we shall see how things are as we get going. We're just going to take our time and see what lies in front of us. I have a feeling it's not going to be as bad as yesterday afternoon because all that storm damage just made those trails treacherous. So we'll see. Uh, we know we got a group behind us that is coming up and they'll, uh, they'll catch up to us if we decide we need to stop and we want to wait for, I guess, backup um, or a second vehicle just to be safe. But we'll see how things go. <laughs> I mean, take a look at this. This is some crazy stuff through here. Can you put your hand down? Um, you know, this is some some pretty tight shelf road here, but the. And the landscape is pretty awesome. I mean, it's just like sitting on the side of a rock going down a hill. You have plenty of room here. And uh, definitely some good communication with uh, the driver and the co pilot here is going to ensure that we don't hit anything and that we can stay close enough to the side to not have any problems. You're good here. But what a way to wake up. I mean, that's not even five minutes into leaving our campsite and we get to be driving on stuff like this. Uh, this is one of the places that 
trails off-road said to be very cautious of because of how deep the water is. But there's no water today. So that's a good thing. Uh, so one less thing for us to have to worry about would be uh, going through the water here. So I actually expected this to be a problem and the Trails Off-Road app says this is, this can be a gatekeeper uh, either direction where you might actually have to turn around because the water can be so deep. And I mean, if you look at the sides, if this was full of water and you can see it was, look over to, I mean, we're, we're kind of aiming right now. You can see how high this water is. That's halfway up the doors on the Jeep. So just a couple days ago, this was totally impassable. And now we're not having any problems. So one major obstacle that we thought we, were, we might be faced with has turned out to not be a problem. So thank goodness for one less problem along the way. And we're gonna... It's still not over. It's not over yet. But fortunately, it's not even thick mud. So that spot turned out to not be a major problem. So we'll see what's next as we head down the little riverway here. We're up and out of the riverbed and going through this, uh, whatever this is. This is kind of strange going through here. Okay, we're gonna have a big dip on the passenger side right here. Okay, get the trailer through that. Okay, and now we have this little climb up ahead. It's up and down. All right. We're up and out of the riverbed. Now, we're not out of the woods yet. There's still a few more obstacles that we're gonna have to face here on White Rim. Okay, this is the Taylor Canyon Trailhead off to the right, uh, popular hiking trail. But we just keep going straight and we'll work our way around. To our left right now is Labyrinth Camp. We got a couple people over there. Look like they're nice and camped for the evening. Just waking up. Look at this view. Looking down on Green River here. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. And it looks like we're gonna go up to that cliff in front of us and go left and go right alongside the river. So this should make for an epic morning view for sure. <laughs> what an amazing view. We got a sheer cliff on our passenger side. We've got a cliff on our Pat on her driver's side, dropping down right into the river. We got washouts under the driver's side tires. Yeah, this is a, it's a great trail this morning. All right, now we're coming down out of this. Well, I don't think we're out of this anytime soon. I think we follow the river pretty tight here, but I don't think we're really up, up in the, the cliff side. Looks like we're almost down at the water level here. Right now we're probably, I don't know, less than 10 feet above the water line on the driver's side here. One thing we have learned about White Rim Trail is that the 
the one thing you can count on is that you can't count on anything. Surprise. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Oh. We've been on this nice dry sand for a yeah. while. Stop. And Stop. now we have this in front of us. Okay, this is some thick, gooey, sticky mud. So, could be a little bit of a challenge here, but we'll see how it goes. Doing yeah. there. So technically, we have just ended White Rim Trail. However, <laughs> that's the national park. Right, that's the Canyonlands boundary, and now we still have a ways to go before we actually get out of here. So for us and anyone else that's on this, the trail is not over yet. We still have a ways to go by about uh, three more miles before we get to another road that may have some serious problems right now because of the storms. So we do have, um, we put, potentially have some more challenges in front of us even though we are technically like at the gate getting out All right we've got a big ass boulder in the way so i mean the ram truck just made it through no problem so we should be just fine Piece of cake. Like I said back there, the one thing you can count on on this trail is you can't count on anything. Just as everything is going good, there's a giant boulder in the way. Go figure. And there's still supposed to be some tricky stuff up ahead due to some storm damage. So we're still not out of the, the woods yet. And we're getting to a part that's supposed to be easy. Well, this whole trail was supposed to be fairly easy, but, um, yeah, <laughs> white rim, one surprise after another. And still worse. Still, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I wouldn't have traded this experience for anything. This has been, this has been a, an amazing trip. Would I come another time? Absolutely. <laughs> a little more prepared. Like more gas. Yes. I don't <laughs> I don't like point. having to worry about the gas situation right now. But I mean we're no, we're not going to make it. That is for sure. Be prepared. I, I'm I'm betting we're gonna make it. But we'll see. As long as we don't have more more climbs, we're we're gonna be fine. If it stays relatively flat we'll have a good enough gas mileage to get out. We'll see. It's gonna be close. But, pause the video right now, and in the comments, you tell us, did we make it or not? And then you'll find out at the end if we actually made it out without having to wait for someone to bring us gas. So I wanna hear those comments. Do them in the comments below.
puddle after another here. Not bad, it's only about two inches deep, but uh, just gotta be careful through those. But I know the guy in the ram ahead of us, he's just blazing right through them. So as long as we don't catch up to him and he's stuck, then uh, we're good to go. And yet more mud. This is deep. Lots and lots and lots of mud. Well, <laughs> guess we're going to the car wash yet again. Wow, we have some major road wash out here. I mean, anyone with some smaller tires is really going to be hating life going over these. It's the one time our big ass tires uh, make me feel pretty good about having them. We got some people who are canoeing on the other side. Looks like they're just canoeing down the river, stopping and camping. That could be fun. It's not the clearest river, but I don't think any of them are. Even the Colorado River always seems a little murky. So pretty. But this view here is just, I mean, even this right here is worth the whole, the whole trip. Just these amazing canyons and vistas and it just really has been a spectacular trail. I, every time you turn around, there's some new thing to see that's dramatically different than the last thing you saw and it's just as amazing or even more amazing and yeah this trail has definitely been worth it uh but we're not like i said we're not out of it until until we're truly out of this and actually at a gas station we still have a few concerns Oh boy, we have 34 miles to go to get to Moab. This is the end of the White Rim Trail. What an amazing experience. Great experience. Did you have fun? I would do it again. In a heartbeat? Yes. What would you do different? Leave the trail home. Leave the trailer at <laughs> home? <laughs> um, I, I loved having the trailer for for camping and the kitchen uh, for that it's it was really convenient it did make it a little sketchier in some spots no it was spontaneous decision we looked at the book three three okay not a problem let's go and uh, it was not expected yeah a little harder than expected for sure um, i think one of the things i would want to do different is stop at an earlier campground Stopped, uh, yes, and bring more gas. Bring more gas. There's more to that story, so stay tuned to that. But yeah, uh, bring more gas and maybe stop more more at the halfway point in in terms of campgrounds. Um, they were not available. It was booked. Everything. Yeah, um, trying to make it all the way, uh, basically, pretty close to the end. Uh, just made for an extremely long day, uh, longer than I preferred being behind the wheel, and then ending it with some really tricky stuff that 
I mean, it was okay. And I had fun and it was a great adventure, but um, yeah, I would have wanted to do that with uh, some fresh arms. <laughs> All right, you ready to see if we can make it back to Moab? Yeah, sure. What's your guess? I asked you already, <laughs> how are you going to call for extra guests to, yeah. to bring you? <laughs> so we still have a gas situation and we got 30 miles to go. So again, if you haven't already, pause the video, go down in the comments and make a bet. Do we make it to Moab or don't we? Because right now we don't know if we're going to. So you'll find out at the end. Okay, what do you think? Yeah, empty, empty. We scooted into town on fumes. It was so low, the Jeep didn't even say how many miles were left, it just says low. So we barely, barely made it into town. The redeeming factor was once we hit pavement, our gas mileage skyrocketed up. We aired up the tires, and we got way better gas mileage coming into town and we were able to make it on, on fumes, but we made it. So if you were betting on us, you won. If you were betting against us, well, you were close. Guess it doesn't get much closer than that.